everybody, it's the Copper One here, and um, today I have a uh, various coin hunt. Um, I was going to post a video yesterday because I did hunt a box of pennies and a box of nickels, but um, I didn't really feel like filling it all in and everything because I didn't actually show the hunt, um, just the finds because I had hunted it with my sister in the living room and I didn't want to film in there. Um, I'll tell you about that real quick. I did find two buffalo nickels. In fact, it was really cool because the very first roll I opened had one of the buffalo nickels um it was dateless uh but i did use nick and date and it was a 23 philadelphia uh, my sister also found a 36d buffalo which she wanted to keep i mean she bought the coins for me to search but uh so i mean you know i don't really care and i find a lot of buffalo nickels anyway but um also sorry if i talk fast i've kind of been noticing that um they were in the penny box, there were a few wheats, and then a 62 young head Canadian. Not a whole lot else. Uh, like I said, there were two war nickels, a 43S and a 45D, but pretty um, light on the other finds. Now, uh, I did delete it, like I said, because I didn't show any hunting, but um, here I have a box of nickels, and then here is a box of dimes, but it's actually dimes quarters, there's a roll of half dollars, and a roll of dollar coins. Um, anyway, uh, I'm going to hunt this, and I will, as usual, I will hunt the first roll here, live on camera. And this one here, I grabbed it because it looks like the end, it might be a bit old. I didn't check all the ends, I just looked at the top here of the nickel box. Um, but yeah. Um, and the nickels, we are going to be looking for some stuff we normally do. I save stuff from 1959 and before. And then if I find any uh, nice older ones from like the 60s or 70s, you know, I might keep that. Um, but for the most part, just the older stuff we're looking for. Hopefully find some buffalo nickels. They're very common around here for whatever reason. Um, but yeah, nothing in there. Y'all kind of know what we're looking for. So, um, I'm gonna start on the rest of the box. If I find anything, I'll fill y'all in. Okay, I opened up the roll of half dollars because, um, I felt like it. And, by the way, I did find three old nickels. I got a 59, sorry, a 59D, sorry about that, 59D, a 56D, and a, um, 48 Philadelphia. But I opened up the half dollar roll because I thought, I wonder if there's anything in there. And, uh, there sure is. Yeah, back there. 1967. Try and clean that off the back. I also realized this here is also just a, um, withdrawal form. <laughs> oh, look at that. I flipped that over. It's a 64. Didn't even notice. It's a Denver. Excuse yeah, me. Here. Wow, that was... I didn't even notice that. Okay, it doesn't look like there's anything else, but let's check here a second. Wow, I can't believe that. I've only found one other 90% half before. Oh, I didn't even notice that. Yeah, okay, nothing else, but, um, wow. A 67 and a 64D. Wow. Don't know what that is. Oh, silver. I also opened the roll of dollar coins I had. There was nothing in there. Um, but I got this roll of nickels here. And you see that, you can kind of tell by the color, it's older. And this one here, as well, this is actually has a D-Mint mark. 54D, okay. Let's see here, this one is Philadelphia. 47, huh? That's cool. I'm just super excited about those silver half dollars. So I got, like I said, I got two more nickels yesterday in the box, which I didn't film. And the video I made on the fines, I just deleted um but yeah 
pretty happy about that. I just got into this roll here, and I saw this Denver Mint mark, and I thought it was probably just a 64 or something. Flip it over, it's actually a 40. So, 1940 Denver. Pretty cool. Okay, I got into this roll here. Uh, there was a 57. In another roll, there was also a 51 Philadelphia earlier. And that sounds like a rarer date, but I'm not sure. I don't have the book with me right now. Um, I saw this here, and I thought, well, it's probably maybe a, maybe a 40s Philadelphia or something. Like a 40, 46, that's a pretty common date, 46 Philly. I flipped it over. And if it will focus, well, it's a 1939 Philadelphia. Um, I'm looking here, it doesn't look like there's any doubling. There you go, now you can see it. Yep, 1939. I, don't, I still don't have the 39 Denver, so if I could find one of those, that'd be really cool. But not too, that's probably about the best of the box so far. I opened up this roll here, got about halfway through it, and I saw this, and I didn't notice the date when I had initially opened the roll, and it's pretty nice, and, um, yeah, it's a 1947. Oh, is that a Denver? Yeah, it's a Denver. Wow, you can even see some stairs on there. There. The camera's not really doing it justice, but that's really nice. Um, I think it's not... That's, I've had a few other things in between here, but I think that's about the only thing that's really warranted um, its own little showing. Very next roll, and I uh, saw this, but I saw the back initially, and I thought it's probably just a 40-something, um, a maybe, just like the other 39. Uh, but yeah, it's a 1939. It's a lot nicer condition, though. It may have been like just a 60s, even, uh, just based on the back. But, yeah, 239s. Both Phillies, though. Okay. Open up this roll here a few rolls later. And I saw that there. It's 64D. I saw the DNA mark. But then I saw this here. Which, if it's not focusing... Oops. If it's not focusing well enough, that is an S mint mark. So, let's see what it is. Because it means it's at least 55 or older. 54. 1954S. It's good. I think I already have that coin, but still, it's a bit less common because it's San Francisco. Okay, so the box of nickels is done. Um, finds here two thirty-nine Philadelphias, one forty Denver. Uh, let's see here, forty-one Philadelphias, two of those, one forty-six Philly, one forty-six Denver, one forty-seven Philly, one Denver, one forty-eight Philly, one Denver, a forty-nine Denver, a fifty-one Philadelphia. A, let's see, yeah, 53 Denver, 54 Denver, 54 San Francisco, there, yeah, 56 Denvers, two of those, a 57 Denver, two 58 Denvers, two 59 Denvers, uh, two 2009 Denvers, and this super, I'm really trying to hear it because my hands are all dirty from the nickels. Super nice condition. Uh, 61, Philadelphia. Oh, no, wait, Denver, sorry. Uh, nickel. Uh, but yeah, that is all the nickels. You already saw the two halves I found. Uh, and I'm gonna go through the rest of the dimes now, because I did open a few couple rolls up. Um, and I'll, I'll bring a little kind of thing in there, but I might not, so we'll see. Okay, there was nothing in the dimes. But I weighed the rolls, just to like check and see, like, what if there is silver or something? Oh, that'd be cool, if I could actually tell. Um, the rolls that weighed more, there was nothing in there, which is why you saw nothing, because there was absolutely nothing. This here, I opened up this roll of quarters, because it weighed the most. It weighed, uh, like, five grams more than the second highest. And I didn't even notice at first this edge here. Uh, the difference. But... I got to this here, picked it up, I was kind of confused by it for a second, and then I realized that this wasn't an American quarter. Um, this is from the United Arab Emirates. I really have absolutely no idea what any of this means whatsoever. 
Um, but yeah, if anybody knows what this is, uh, please do let me know in the comments, because I'm really kind of confused for that. Um, let's see if there's anything else, I guess. Okay, so, um, here is it. Uh, that's all I found here, which the reason the roll was heavier is because this is like a gram heavier than a quarter, U.S. quarter. Um, and I also found this here, Ohio 2002, Philadelphia, which I just don't have for my uh, little folder things, you know, full of the state quarters. Because I hardly ever find Philadelphias, and I don't remember to look for them all the time because there's so many of them. Um, but yeah, if anybody knows what this is, please do let me know because I really would be interested um, I just know it's from the United Arab Emirates. Um, so yeah, we did get silver in the house. So that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, I'll put that away. And then that's about it. Um, yeah, thank y'all for watching this video, which is probably going to be a bit longer. Sorry about that. Um, and, uh, have a good day. Take care, y'all.